There are so many people out there that have just settled, that have just settled um, because it was comfortable, settled because it was normal. Um, it was just what got easy, uh, what got they got used to doing, um, and again, what was comfortable. When people talk these days about you know why no one's dreaming big. I think people are still they still do have big dreams. They just come to the realization that they're not willing to put in the work to achieve them. To hear people talk about like you know, these big dreams, they'll say stuff like, "Oh, I don't need a house like that." So they say things like, "You hear this? I don't need a nice car. I don't need a big house. I don't need to go on trips like that." But the reality is they're just not willing to put in the work to get it. They would absolutely love to have it. And I think there's people like us and people that are watching this, listening to this right now, that they're on that cusp of like, I could go this way or I could go that way. And that's my challenge to those people is like, there is absolutely no reason why you can't have everything. Like why you can't be in absolute perfect shape, why you can't be in absolute, the best relationship with your wife, with your husband, with your partner, why you can't have the greatest relationship with your kids, why you can't be in a good space spiritually and mentally. It's just a decision. It's literally a choice and that choice can start today and it can change one day at a time and just not settling. It's just the way the world works. Think about it. Think about speaking of the gym, think about it. So if, if when you're in the gym, you strive to work out to the point where it's just painful, well, what are you going to get from that? You're going to get muscle gain. You're going to get results versus if you're in the gym and you just strive to be comfortable, you need to strive for pleasure in the gym. What's, what's that going to deliver you? Absolutely nothing. No results. So it's just the way the world works. And if you know that, if you believe that, and if you can just trust that I'm telling you the truth in that, why not try it? And just try to pursue things that are uncomfortable. Try to pursue things that are new because the new and different and awkward and <laughs> unusual, those are the things that are always gonna stretch you. And you will never truly know what you're capable of until you're stretched. Like there's so many people that are just out there just settling and they're gonna die one day and living this mediocre life. And what type of legacy have they left behind? It's Very crazy. True. So what, that's, There's a that's, ton of people like that. That's hey, a, we say yeah, yeah. the letter, we're always great on the letter A, right? The letter F is the most important letter. Family, fitness, and finances. Yeah. All in on those three things. Yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah. I'll add faith as a fourth one. Faith too, yeah, since, yeah. Since the we're universe. doing the alliteration, yeah, I'll just true. add that in there. Well, you guys know that have seen any of my stuff for any period of time, one of my favorite phrases in the world is that if you seek comfort, the world will deliver you pain. But if you seek pain, which means if you seek discomfort, the world will deliver you pleasure. And it's just a fact. Um, and so many people, they get comfortable and they just, they just stay there. And that's just not, that's just not how we're supposed to live on this, on this earth. Um, I, I just truly believe that we were put on this planet um, to make an impact and to live up to our God-given talents, abilities, um, skills. So when the discomfort of life went away because of the success, because of the work, because of the things that had happened in that journey, in that becoming a better version of yourself and then becoming a better surrounding through the process, then I think that was the realization of like, oh crap, like I'm comfortable. Yeah. And now all of a sudden <clears throat> uncertainty was created not from discomfort. The uncertainty was created through the comfort. Through the comfort. Which is Which is another paradigm shift. Yeah. And so then it was, so then it became a process of how can I seek areas to make myself uncomfortable or to bring discomfort into my life that aren't just brought to me. Right. That I can actually go because again, I think it's, it's the action. Mm -hmm. It's the the effort put towards discomfort, whether given to you or caused by you. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to build up some sort of callousness, you know, you have to say what is the pressure, you know, or what is the thing that I'm going to apply the pressure to in order to grow, right? Wouldn't that be part of getting ready, staying ready, 
but also building you know the ability to do that to withstand it eventually the cold water doesn't feel cold anymore so it's not that you're immune to cold you're just immune to that amount of cold so over the last five years my business partners and i we've we've just been in this pursuit of seeking different ways to make ourselves uncomfortable and some of those have been business related some of those have been personal the the cold showers the you know ice baths the different things some of them are physical uh, with you know exercise and, and things like that but constantly searching for ways to get us out of our comfort zone and to me to answer your question uh tim the one thing that i that i seem that i see as as the most congruent I think outcome of those things is mental toughness. Yeah. So it's callousing the mind. And T.D. Jakes, uh, he always says, if you do the easy things, life will be hard. Yeah. If you do the hard things, life will be easy. But it's like, we, we literally are seeking opportunities of discomfort. Yeah. Like seeking ways to make ourselves uncomfortable, whether it's like ice baths or whether it's, like I did two ultra marathons in seven days this year. Really? And the furthest I had ran was 13 miles. I did two ultra marathons <laughs> in seven days. Yeah. It was 29.6 miles and 32.6. It's understanding that it's all mental. Right. And like, once you get past those things, you realize like what more you're capable of. And when you realize that it's literally like 90% mental, like you could tell me right now, like, Hey, go run 40 miles. I'd be like, it's going to suck, but okay. Because you realize that like mentally how strong you get yeah. to be like, there's nothing physically you can't do. It's going to suck. Yeah. It's going to hurt. But you're gonna love that process. So like now, like we, we're, I mean, we're searching for things that we can do that are uncomfortable that put us in pain because we know that there's pleasure on the other side of it. Well, that's what I love about. I know some guys I work out with. Some are Marines, some are SEALs, man. But just the the mental capacity, the the thought streams that come with them, because the whole idea is to put them in situations where you'll break down. Now they can't, they physically can't kill you out there, but they're gonna do everything to break your will as much as possible. But here's the thing that I realized or maybe just remembered <sighs> more tangibly today, that just because you went out and saw discomfort, just because you went out and got extremely uncomfortable, doesn't mean things are gonna instantly get better. Doesn't mean things are instantly gonna get easier. Doesn't mean instantly that those things that were uncomfortable are gonna somehow get more comfortable. As I went out on this run, not only was it not comfortable, I would beg to say that it was more uncomfortable than the runs that I had prior to that run. Like, it was still uncomfortable for me, and there was still a lot of discomfort. It's part of, because I was still sore, but just because I'm a 235 <laughs> pound person, yeah, like, you know, running's hey, difficult. Running, running as a bigger guy is difficult. And at first I was like, man, this sucks. Like, this should be easy. Like, I just did that. But then I flipped it in my brain. I was like, oh man, this is awesome. As I was processing this in my mind through my run today, I thought, well, crap, like, you know, what's the point? But then I realized, oh, that's, that's kind of, that kind of is the point. Like, that is the point that I have found something in running that allows me to seek discomfort, but never allows me to get comfortable in it, that I've found something that I can use to put my body through some physical and mental challenge that will provide that discomfort that I'm seeking. But when I go back to it, I'm still gonna be able to go right back into that challenge, to go right back into that discomfort. Seeking discomfort is uncomfortable. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, but I've just done it uh, and I continue to do it and I'm willing to do it. And sometimes at the, at the, at the cost of my own sanity, quite frankly. Um, oh, because I've now found something in my life that I can go to that will always provide me with that level of discomfort but that I can always get through it and I can push through it and that there are different levels, you know, further distances, faster times, that I can always do something to make myself feel that level of discomfort that puts my mind in that place where like, you're like, man, you had this challenge, you overcame it, and man, you're so much more mentally tough for getting through that. And therein lies the entire idea of what we're talking about 
And so my question for you guys and really my challenge for you is what is that thing in your life? What is that thing in your life that you can do on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, the very least a monthly basis where you can go out and you can seek discomfort, where you can go out and be incredibly challenged. You can go out and be stretched further than you've ever been stretched before. And then the next time, right when you go back to that activity, you feel that exact same thing. And you can go out, pursue something, get uncomfortable, but accomplish a goal. Go out, pursue something, get uncomfortable, but accomplish the goal. Go out, pursue something, get uncomfortable, and accomplish the goal every single time. What is that thing in your life?